Welcome back to Let's Play Darkest Dungeon. I'm your host, Time Pants, and today we are going to be heading to the farmstead, and I guess that's probably where we'll be spending a lot of our time in the near future. I have been told that the farmstead has, uh, a, I mean, endless mode, of course, but it's actually going to have something that, uh, yeah, it has a, a surprise waiting there for us if we make it far enough. And that is all the motivation that I need. So we are going to be taking John Cena the Best, Randy Orton, Jack Toxic, and Swagmaster. We have three pro wrestlers and someone who's just really cool. So my idea here is that we're going to be taking Jack Toxic primarily to act in sort of a buffing or supplementary capacity. Uh, Dirk Stab is really just going to be here for repositioning. Slice off if we need the damage to close out, but ideally, we really don't want uh, Jack Toxic to, to move that much. So, uh, let's get started here. Um, I had thought about using the disposable heroes that the game offered us, but I thought better of it. I decided that maybe we'll just uh, see how far we can get with our regular heroes. Now, uh, part of what informed my decision is finding out that, um, well, how do I put this? We have to run away if we want to keep our rewards. So, uh, yeah, we are not forced into taking a wipe. Right, the victim. The seasons took his livelihood. I took his land. And now, uncountable years later, the comet has taken his humanity. My only regret is that I did not live to see that shoddy mill smashed to pieces by the miraculous bounty I reaped from beyond the void. All right, so I'm not sure what this is. Obviously, this is a skull. I'm not sure what this is. And is that the ancestor? I don't know. Um, very cool. So <clears throat> let's, uh, let's get started here. So I went to, or my wife and I went to like a, uh, like a childbirth class the other day. And I have to admit that the experience was actually not unlike, uh, is there any music? Very, very quiet. Okay. Um, why don't we turn that up? Just, uh... Yeah, it's just a little unsettling not having any, any background noise at all. Um... Yeah, it, it was actually not unlike uh, playing this game. Now, what, what do you mean, Time Pants? That's a, a very cryptic thing to say. I know, it's not unlike playing this game, am I right? Um... But... Yeah, it, it was actually, like, I went into the day feeling quite, um, okay, that's fine. I went into the day feeling, like, quite confident in my ability to, uh, you know, to, to be the big hero. And, uh, you know, when, hmm, this is, this is not going well. You know, when the, uh, Labor Day started, um, that, yeah, I, I would be there and uh, and ready to go, be sort of the, the stalwart rock, the, the pillar uh, of, of strength upon which everybody else could rely. And then they started talking. <laughs> and they were like, well, you know, you shouldn't really, you shouldn't really come here, like, right when labor starts. Uh, you should kind of hold off until the contractions are like five minutes apart, and that can be, you know, several, several hours. And I was like, blah, blah, blah. and they were like, so we're gonna watch a few videos of childbirth, and then fucking the cosmic horror began to to settle in uh, almost immediately. I was just like, why is a, a bloody writhing alien looking creature emerging from that human that's that's 
that's disconcerting. I'm I'm not really wasn't really prepared for this when I got up this morning. Um, and yeah, it, it kind of degenerated from there. Um, apparently, like forceps are still a thing, and I don't know if you know what forceps are, but uh, have you ever had to pull like wet pasta out of a bowl and you have like the, the little clampy things? Imagine that going around an infant's head and then pulling it out of a birth canal. Yeah, that, you know, this is, this is what they were talking about in the history textbooks when they're like, yeah, you know, humans haven't always been a terribly advanced or <laughs> a terribly advanced society. We're a little barbaric when you get right down to it. And like, as all of this was going on, you know, you would see like, you know, like a friggin' video about breach birth and it was like a critical hit in Darkest Dungeon. Like, yeah, and here's what we have to do. And everyone's like, frow, 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 frow. <laughs> and by the end of the day, yeah, my, my resolve was tested. And <laughs> bro, paranoid. And I was just like, oh my god, I can't do this. What do you mean we have to wait until... Like, we have to wait until the contractions are five minutes apart. You're a hospital. This is like, you do this thousands and thousands of times a year. I've never, you know, I've never been responsible for, like, an animal before. What are, why are you expecting us to do all these things? Um, like, oh my god, <laughs> you guys, I'm... I'm a little freaked out. Uh, that said, I think everything's going to be fine. But, um, yeah, it was, I, I think that was the most disconcerting part, was finding out that uh, for a lot of it, you're, you're kind of on your own. I, I just Destroyed. maybe was under this misguided assumption that, uh, yeah, they, they wouldn't let, like, an unqualified idiot be responsible for uh, like a human being going into labor for like 10 hours. I just thought, you know, we as a society agreed that part of the social contract was, you know, not, not forcing a, a, an infant to have to put up with that sort of in, indignity. But uh, here we are, you know, that clearly my uh, my expectations were perhaps not not entirely not entirely realistic. I may have given us as a species far too much credit. I know that I I gave myself far far too much credit. Um, so let's uh, let's take a look here and see how we are doing on the run so far. I would say good. Uh, stress is holding solid. Now, I actually, other than finding out that uh, that you had to retreat, because I, I did want to use my own gang of heroes rather than uh, a bunch of disposable mooks, um, I think we go here. And that's why. Um, yeah, I... I uh, I did do just the slightest bit of research. I broke my own rule. Um, that being exert <laughs> exert the smallest amount of effort in producing this show. Um, okay, I think we are going to be going into... Yeah, we're going to be going into the next section here. I think we actually save our anti-venom. That's my favorite relative, of course, anti-venom. Um, I think we save that and just uh, just roll on. Okay, so we're gonna get teleported and we get a reward. I don't know what this is. Rotted fair. Take up the hatchet, blow off some steam. Uh, I'm gonna assume that's stress relief. There we go. Okay, not uh, not 
not a lot, but we didn't really have a lot to speak of. So obviously this mode is endless and obviously uh, I am not going to, to do it uh, endlessly. This um, at, at time of, of recording, I've got only a, only a few hours until I have to, well, not a few hours actually, about 30 minutes until I need to start thinking about going to work so yeah we're we're not gonna fuck around uh, forever here if I have to cut this I uh, I certainly will escape empty-handed oh cuz we haven't actually gotten anything yet sure I understand um, but this is going really well our stress is fine I do think that crit hits are sort of the thing that you do really want to build for in uh, in endless mode because they are basically an infinitely replenishable supply of stress heal. Um, I am quite certain that that probably is what informed the uh, the decision. Hmm. Okay. I, I'm sure that that's what informed the decision to, to rebalance the way they did. Okay, so this is, I would assume, probably our mini-boss. So, uh, I think we're probably going to focus this down as best we can. I don't think that the... It's entirely advisable to, uh... Hmm. Yeah, I don't think it's entirely advisable to try and deal with the riffraff first. That said, I thought I would get the stun and that would prevent the repost. It didn't, and, you know, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, fuck you. But yeah, let's uh, let's start start dealing with the riffraff here. I think we can probably get a kill. That's blight, right? Yeah. I think we can probably get a kill here on this turn. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Um, with a 54% crit chance. Yeah. I, I guess. That was that was probably the safe bet, wasn't it? Um, I don't think we even worry about the blight again. I don't think it's enough damage for us to be truly concerned about. I think probably our best course of action well, isn't that. Uh, I think probably our best course of action is just to uh yeah just to kind of stay the course we have been doing great here our health is beginning to dwindle a little bit that said if we need to uh yeah if we need to heal we're gonna have the opportunity to do so but uh yeah can i just say like childbirth is weird dude <laughs> like okay forceps i can't stress this enough that's so insane to me forceps like you're taking you're basically taking baby out with pliers that's messed up what what kind of monsters would do that they'd be like well we can't get the baby out what are we gonna do i don't know why don't we program some sort of uh some sort of device that will you know uh relax the the human muscles and and allow the tissues to to stretch to get them out oh that's a pretty cool idea um here's what i was thinking let's just pull them out with pliers like what kind of human would do that what sort of sort of like conscionable person would think that was okay pliers i just i really want to stress that pliers like okay the other option is and i don't know if you know this maybe i'm the last person on earth uh you know to to hear about any of this i think this is healing 
Neat. We still haven't gotten anything. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so maybe maybe I'm the last person to, to hear about this. Maybe I'm the big dumb idiot. But okay, check this out. So let's say that we are not into like the barbarism of of pulling a, a human baby who is zero years old, might I add, uh, out of the womb by by he head. Okay, let's uh, let's assume that for a moment. What do we have instead? Okay, here's the other option. A friggin' vacuum. I am- I shit you not. Like, there's a human vacuum, and that's not- not just a euphemism for the uh, emotional relationship that I have with my parents. No. A friggin' vacuum designed- ugh. Okay, this is this is starting to degenerate. So let's uh, let's get this under control. Um, that's one option. That's another. I think because he's going to be taking so much nastiness here in one turn that we do that. Well, now I feel like a big dumb idiot because we should have actually healed. Um, or we should have actually hit here in the back. Whoopsie daisy, you know? That'll happen. Um, okay. So, like, I shit you not, they basically attach a friggin' vacuum cleaner to, like, the crown of the baby's head. And they're just like, alright, out you go. And, like, they just... Is pull it out by its skull. Why would you do that? What kind of loving God would allow this to happen? Like, there's so much to unpack that I was just genuinely not okay. I was genuinely not prepared for uh, when I showed up to uh, to to the class that day. Okay. This is this is going downhill. So we gotta we gotta get this under control. Um, what does under control look like? I think under control starts with that. We sacrifice the buff this round. Um, Stick with me here. I, I think I know what I'm doing. Um, okay. And... Okay. We are going to accept that this guy is going to get, like, one round of nastiness on us. You know, barfing or, or what have you. Um... Okay, the dodge debuff, not bad, but we, we do need to kind of rebuild here, because this, um, this was ugly. So, we take the heal. We are going to, yeah, rebuff. That's fine. Re rebuff is, that means something entirely different from how I just used it. Uh, we are going to take the adder's kiss here. I was hoping for a crit for the stress relief. And then we heal, get the healing, and he's back to about half health, so that's fine. This, not so fine. We definitely need to address this very quickly. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think we, we might have to just bear down here. Okay, uh, the crit was obviously very good. Um... The thing is, I don't know what I'm more worried about. Ah, oh, man, if only we could tag the back there. I think we try and get one kill. We didn't get it. That's fine. Uh, stress, obviously not good. Dodge debuff, not good. Cripple them real bad, uh, especially if we take the debuff. Fortunately, we didn't. 
Okay, I think this is fine. This, as far as first rounds go, as long as we don't get a crit here, I think we're stable. And yeah, no stun, we're stable. Okay. Um. I meant to do the group heal. Whoopsie daisy. Okay, um, and I think we have just gone from stable to in trouble. Uh, we're gonna get one more kill here, hopefully, with the hue. Okay. Uh, but, yeah, that didn't have to happen. Fortunately, yeah, no disease, so that's good. Still, a stun here would be very bad. Um, okay. So... Let's, uh, single heal. And I think we're gonna... Try and actually... Hmm. No. I think we'll continue to buff. And that might be a mistake. Honestly, I... I, I might have wanted to... Uh, de-stress here. And de-stress also, not uh, not really the uh, the appropriate word for the situation. Woof. Okay. Hmm. 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 I think we stun here, hopefully, yeah, okay, uh, we stun, and I am going to buff one more time in hopes that, uh, in hopes that what? I was going to say in hopes that we get a crit here. Um, okay, this is actually fine. He is in prime range for us to, to cause some mayhem. Uh, now, obviously we're not 100% thrilled that he's in the back row now. But a hue should solve our problems. That said, I think we risk it. Yeah, I think we had to risk it. Uh... He's slow enough that we should be able to get a kill, and I think... I think I'm gonna buff for one more turn. <laughs> oh god. Okay, um... Q... I was really expecting would get a kill. That's trouble. Okay. Horror... I'm actually shocked that horror didn't hit anybody other than you. Um, yeah, I think now we need to start uh, playing the long game here, especially with the stress having hit here. Let's uh, take the laudanum. And there's a part of me that wants to use Solemnity, but I'm not going to. Okay, hopefully this is going to turn into a crystal, and we'll get one more round to kind of get everybody back fighting fit. No, okay, that's fine. As long as we are not teleported directly into another boss fight. I, I just had to try it. Okay. Um, you. Littering gold, trinkets <gasps> and baubles, paid for in blood. Neat. Okay. Um, <clears throat> what are we gonna ditch? Probably the food.
Okay, so we're probably going to be fighting the Miller soon, right? So... Plus 40 damage against the Miller. Um, okay. All right, this feels good. Um, wow, I was I was really expecting to uh, to fight the Miller like right now ish, so that's um that's not good. Hmm. And yeah, this first round is definitely gonna be our roughest. Holy shit. We kept our buffs. Why does she have a quest buff? Hmm. No idea. Uh, that's fine. Obviously, what would have been much finer would have been, oh, I don't know, a, uh, a crit right there. Um, and I think what, we got a 50% chance for crits. Yeah, I thought it would be worth the coin flip. And we got two coin flips in our favor. Very nice. Many hands is just protection, which is absolutely fine because we actually have the ability to penetrate that. Uh, everybody is in prime shape uh, to get wrecked here. And he is not going to survive this, uh, this round. No question. I... In retrospect, I probably should have uh, gone for stress relief there. I have not been playing as uh, perhaps as conservatively as I as I should. Um, I think one of the things about this uh, this particular mode that I am really going to have to to struggle with, just knowing my tendencies as a as a player, is definitely going to be. Um, just patience. I tend to, to play a, uh, a game that prioritizes high damage output and quick resolutions to battles among or above, uh, really one might even say to the exclusion of everything else. And that is definitely no way to play uh, this, this particular mode. I think this has to be a very slow and steady grind to, uh, I mean, obviously not a finish because, uh, well, I mean, nothing really finishes in an endless mode, does it? A momentary abatement. Oh, he's got to be in the front rank for Intimidate. Whoopsie daisy. Okay. That's good to know. And I think with that... Maybe we expose. No, okay. Stick with me here. I'm an idiot. But you're dead. Okay, so we are going to... you and we should be able to at least I mean we'll definitely kill the guy in the front well fuck you okay darkest dungeon big fuck you uh, we we have actually been doing quite well thus far um, I wouldn't say that there's really been anything that's really raised concern yet for um hmm. 
A speed of 20. 20. Uh, I, I think this, this does highlight the uh, absurdity of uh, what happens when you are uh, allowed to, to run this, this buff for, uh, for a long enough time span. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I think, I think this is going well. Um, now, if I remember right, I think I remember reading that this is camping. So, we probably can do this for now and feel fine about it. Yeah, I think this is camping, so let's just double check, see where everybody stands. I think this is good. This is good. Good. All right. So, let's camp. Flame's color is somehow wrong. Um, seems fine to me, but, you know, what do I know? I think we go half here. We are fine. Stress looks good. Uh, Snake Eyes is a very appealing option, so let's keep that in mind. Reflection is good for the crit chance, if not necessarily the accuracy. Uh, Tiger's Eye also. So I think we might do that. So, Reflection. I don't know if we need to worry about an ambush, but if this is anything like the other special dungeons, we probably do not. So I'm not gonna sweat it. Yeah, Snake Eyes seems good. Every rose has its thorn seems real good. And it is all companions. Yeah, let's do that. And we still have two. I think we pep talk on you, since you're really the only person who's not going to be, like, actually doing crits. And if four battles means, like... I mean, that could be forever, basically. Uh, hopefully we don't get ambushed, and we didn't. Yeah. Like, I don't know what constitutes a battle. Okay. Uh, so... Bleed is out out of the question, so our Jester really probably is, is not going to get much uh, much play here. That's fine. Yeah, let's just uh, keep ramping that up. His crit chance is going to be ridiculous, right? Minus crit chance. Oh, ooh, okay. And already, I'm really glad that we uh, applied that that stress resist. Let's um. Let's take care of you. Really? I mean. Huh. I should have I should have removed his uh his crit debuff. That was stupid. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. The first round did not go well. Um and that's that's absolutely 100% fine. Uh we just need to kind of stabilize, think a little bit more about what we're going to do and then execute. I should have gone for the kill here. That was... Okay. Starting now. <laughs> Starting right now. We're going to think more about what we do before we do it. Starting n now. Okay. Q. 
and you're done. All right. Uh, that's going to get, yeah, our stress down. Here's a little chance to heal. And there we go. Perfect. So this should bring everybody back into fairly good standing. This is a free buff for us. Maybe, again, should have gone for the stress relief. But I'm not going to sweat it too much. Heal on you. We kill this with, uh, let's say, that right there. Perfect. And everybody's looking good again. Um, I'm going to be playing for like five more minutes and then I, I think I've got to go. Hmm. Okay, this is, a, this is a tricky little puzzle here. I think we kill these. They are dodgy enough that I really don't want to let them live for too long. Um, I mean, obviously we don't want to eat horror here, but it's a coin flip if we get the stun. And now, I think we go ham. 65% crit chance is ridiculous. And, yeah, this should be a chance for us to, to get everybody back fighting fed. Um, yeah, so, uh, what is the takeaway here? What, um, what have we learned that we can uh, you know, apply to our everyday lives going forward? Uh, first and foremost, the human birth is is not a beautiful, magical thing. It is a bloody, horrifying nightmare that I mean ultimately cult, uh, culminates in you know bringing a, a life into this world, somebody that you you know love and and can share, you know. Yeah, basically share a future with. Obviously, that's. Um, that's that's great. That's real good. Um, that said, ah, <laughs> uh, it's uh, it's also it's also pretty messed up when you get right down to it. Um, am I excited? Oh, absolutely, hundred percent. Whoops. Whoops. Um, whoopsie daisy. Okay, so he has no chance to inflict bleed. So we're not even going to worry about that. That's that's uh, that's tomorrow's problem. And stun chance is so low that we are not even going to try and uh, not even going to try and, and uh, inflict it unless we get into a really desperate situation. I think Adder's Kiss is good enough, yeah, because there is a Blight chance, it's the better crit chance. Um, dots, I think, are really going to hurt this guy, and I didn't even think about it, but yeah, especially if you have a chance to, uh, to crit. Oh, I wanted that crit so much. Um, I'm actually surprised our Leper has been dodging very well. I don't know if these guys just have poor accuracy or, or what. Um, but yeah, we have been doing really well. Um, yeah, no, no guard skills is absolutely fine. And yeah, again, I think we just kind of go ham on this thing. Uh, this is not a guarantee. Let's take the guarantee. Even though we probably would have been fine. Um, I don't have the guard break skill. Hmm. Okay, uh, I think we are still fine. Yeah, I think we are still fine. Um, that said, I think we do need to, to really go in hard on the Miller. And that is that is perfectly hard. I'm I am satisfied with the uh, the hardness there. That was sufficiently hard. Um, yeah, and I think this is 
absolutely a worthwhile investment. I cannot believe we didn't get the kill there. That Oh, that hurts so much. Okay. And this thing's going to get a turn before all said and done. That's bad. And this is worse because that... Please don't be stunned. Debuff is fine. Okay. Hmm. I think we might actually want to take the kill here. Because, yeah, we really don't want that attacking again. Um, this, I think... We go for a heal here. 12 is good. Um, we are going to use Aegis Scale. We're going to use Anti Venom. We're going to use Holy Water. We're going to Pierce. And I think, yeah, that does not leave a corpse behind. So we can hit hard. All right. This is still very, very precarious. But, yeah, that sucks. Holy shit, that really sucks. Okay. Yeah, we've got to, we've got to just buff up here. Okay, shit. Um... I think, I think we might be dead. Whew, never mind. Uh, I thought he was going to get two reapings in a row and life was going to be pain. Okay. Um, Hmm. Well, <laughs> um, that was a dispiriting way to to end our run. Um. That said, I am, yeah, I'm going to cut it off here. I am going to leave things running and see if we can come back and maybe, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe continue later on. All right. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.